Hello, I am Yogini Sunita and this is Meditation, Yoga and Stuff podcast. I believe my dharma or my life's purpose is to share my understanding of meditation, yoga and Ayurveda, holistic healing science of India. I make these amazing wisdoms accessible and adaptable for present time. So let's start. Hello and welcome to the podcast. I'm talking about how we can connect with our inner child and how can we heal ourselves by connecting with the inner child. So some example I can give you is when we start working with our healing process in our life, we can really start noticing that a lot of these healing journey is basically starts with healing your inner child, healing your self on so many levels that from not just in this now, but we have to go back to our inner child, find and reconnect with the inner child and have more playful experience of the life. And when we start doing that, we kind of like start letting go of the stress. We start tuning into what is really important to us. What happens that most of the time with the responsibility of adulthood, we have so much kind of like associate that this is how adults should behave. This means having a lot of stress in the life. And it is normal and it's also society's expectation that how one should behave in society. Now, reconnecting with your inner child doesn't mean that you become childlike. It's not about that. It's about coming to the joy. As a child, we could find joy in the pebbles near the river or find creating a boat out of paper and letting it float in rainy water is such a joyous experience as a child. And what happens that as we start growing up, we kind of like forget about these experiences and we don't even notice them. And reconnecting with our inner child is also reconnecting with our true self, our creativity, reconnecting with what feels right to us not what is expected of us and i will tell you what what is expected of us will also fall in place if we just try to loosen up a little bit let go of the stress and find joy in simple things so reconnecting with your inner child is basically bringing playfulness back into your life bringing that awareness that what really brings you joy Noticing that there are demands in our modern adult life, which we have to fulfill. But that state of mind, the stressful state, shouldn't be constantly there. So we learn to let go of this stressful state of the mind by coming back to what brings joy and bringing those joyous things in the life at the workplace as well. And you will start noticing that these things really help us to bring in more creativity. We also start noticing that everything just start flowing effortlessly. And we start to finding joy and happiness into simple things. And that kind of like fills up our cup. When we start noticing that what gives us that playfulness, that joy, We start doing those things and those things we can call it as a self-care. For example, you notice that going out for a walk or swim in the ocean gives you tremendous joy. So consciously start doing those things to satisfy your need of that inner child. Now, there are also some meditations you can do to heal the inner child. And this can be possible by connecting with the inner child by basically sitting in stillness and remembering when you were a child what was the most joyous thing 
you enjoyed in your life what was the best moment of the childhood and it will come to you like make sure that you comfortable remembering childhood if there is a trauma in childhood make sure that you do this with guidance from counselor talk with them and and talk with them how to heal the childhood trauma and then only do this meditation but if you don't have childhood trauma you can just bring sense of playfulness you can do the meditation by sitting comfortably in meditative state and invoke the memory of joyous thing in the childhood and it could be just jumping in a muddy puddle it could be running around chasing the butterflies whatever it is and now in modern life or in our adult life what is that activity that gives you similar joy which you remembered in your childhood as a maybe chasing the butterflies and things like that so remembering those activities of the childhood which gave you joy and connecting with those activities in this now how can we bring that sense of childlike sense of finding fun in new things finding creativity in new things give a child piece of paper and crayon and they can draw the whole world it's the same mentality if we have in our adult life we can actually be very lead very creative very fulfilling life and this is also kind of like aligning with the source and what i mean by that in wisdom of yoga is we are all connected and yet we are individual unique fingerprint of the divine so we have this uniqueness so that means our creativity is going to be very unique and when we have that when we have the creativity a uniqueness in the creativity finding that uniqueness is also helps us to find purpose of our life find that and connect with the universal source so basically we are living a life with unity with childlike joy of being living life and here we are dropping all the stress of the life and let the creativity flow let the creative intelligence flow in our day to day life and to do this we can start noticing that how can i bring this childlike mind into everything so looking at things around you which are uplifting finding joy in simple things also being in company of inspiring uplifting people it really really is important to have your sangha in wisdom of yoga we call it sangha sangha means like minded people and like minded people will help you rise up so if you notice in your company that you have these kind of people which help you to rise up then these are your true friends so spending more time with them is basically energy gaining prana gaining as we call in wisdom of yoga so prana is a life force and this life force enters in our system through our breath but it also enters through our food through good company so it's a basically we can call it universal source of energy prana gives us really uplifting energy and we can actually connect with this uplifting energy through meditation through doing the things which gives us pure joy and creativity is another source which in, helps us to improve prana in our system movements with awareness is also same thing so for example as a child if you enjoyed moving your body jumping around active body then in adulthood maybe if you are stuck into a desk job see if you can find a table which helps you to do the work standing up make sure that you walk around a little bit like these simple things basically we are moving energy in our system and this will help you to gain prana rather than sitting constantly at one place that can be energy depleting and then also there are joy of spending time with like minded people as i said the sangha is absolutely important and when we are at a place of work we sometimes cannot change the situation but 
even then we can find a way to bring that joyous experience into our life we can work with the right people the team building activity at the workplace is very important if you are working from home then how can you bring still joy state into your day to day activity so constantly what happens that we as a human go into the fact that i'm okay and that state of okayness out of habit we start saying i am okay but a lot of time that's not the truth and when we start reconnecting with our inner child we can actually start noticing that we are really okay we can bring that state of okay into our day to day life and it slowly become a habit life become a light hearted accepting it becomes really bringing joy in our life it feels like when we wake up and get up in the morning it feels like that yes i'm going to face this day with the joy and happiness and when we start there with that way it is really that joyousness is going to flow into our day to day life so how can we do this i would say that play 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 and play so what does that mean is try and bring playfulness into everything you do everything can be enjoyed so for example if you are working at the desk how can you still find creativity in that what can you do to bring the creativity or playfulness into your work your life so how can you help people to uplift their game as well so you can also be inspiration to help others and so you're attracting the similar energy so helping others is very powerful and this is also like remember as a child we were so comfortable you know playing with others there was no need for proper introduction or anything we just needed to know their name or not even that we just start playing you know there is so much of uh, no expectation of what other people are bringing to the table we can just be very comfortable and joyous in our being and that will get magic happening that will start bringing everyone you know uplifting and positive energy into everyone's life you may have noticed people like when they enter the room just entering the room is joyous experience so they are vibrating with positive energy and it is possible for everyone so reconnecting with our inner child is very beautiful so how we can bring the joyous thing into our life is the question we can ask ourselves what can i do today to bring that joyous thing in my life and when we start doing this slowly and steadily it becomes our everyday practice it becomes our second nature you can find your flow into doing things maybe doing one thing which is new even though it is challenging finding a one thing which you are going to do new it could be even maybe tasting a sort of different tea that could be the new thing or food or it could be a learning a new language if you want you know and trying to speak and doing things like that there could be so many beautiful state of flow we can call it like where your creative expression is expressed into your dancing your singing your painting your music you know even in exercising you can bring in that joyous playful thing you can you know zumba is very favorite in a lot of uh, women's life because the music and the dance and the freedom of movement is really really powerful so it really helps and bringing that childlike creativity in that also if you are doing activity on a computer see if you can learn new software see if you can bring writing you know making new clothes you can do theater gardening like there are so many things we can do human mind is absolutely beautiful so how can we bring in into the more than work the joy of doing these things is very important i will give you example what i love to do is sometimes just play music loud if any musician who i like at that point i will play that music loud 
and just enjoy dancing around the house. And it gives so much joy. It just movement. I'm not great dancer. I'm not great singer. But it just gives me so much joy of experiencing that movement. So these kind of things are beautiful. You can also do positive rituals like as a child, what you like to do. You know, for example, if you wanted to do breakfast for dinner, why not? You know, why we put so many boundaries around ourselves? So letting go of the boxes around us bringing in more positive rituals, you know. I always ask myself that some things when we do out of habit, is it end of the world if I don't do it today? And if that habit is especially not serving me in this time in my life, then it is time to let it go. So always tuning into what we are doing, what we are choosing in our life. And is it joyous experience or is it just ritual you are doing? Now, trying to find that balance. Now, Ayurveda is Ayurveda, the healing science of India, has lots of rituals in it, but those rituals are very joyful. So finding the rituals which will give you positive energy is going to be absolutely fantastic. So we know that wisdom of yoga and movement yoga asana are fantastic, but if you look at it that you know that is the same practice you're doing over and over and again and again is it going to serve you or it is just your ritual now is it joyous experience then continue doing that but after some time you're just doing it for the sake of doing it then that is ritual which is not serving you so bringing more playfulness into your life Human brain is really interesting. One part of our brain, it is also called the reptilian brain, loves regularity. It doesn't want any change. So we need to have some regularity in our life. But the frontal brain, which makes us human, is very creative. And if we don't open the creativity, you know, are not open for creativity, and that joyous experience, the childlike experience into life, then it kind of like gets stressed and our whole system starts sensing that, you know, we are not living our life to the fullest. So finding a way to bring life to the fullest, you know, you can find creativity in anything. As I was explaining, there are so many things you can bring creativity in. I forgot to mention cooking there. Cooking is absolutely fantastic. You know, there are so many beautiful cuisines around the world and we can try like, you know, if we take just one recipe every day and we will still have so many new recipes. So you can, you know, finding that joy doing that as well rather than it's a ritual. It is going to change the energy of the food because your energy is positive when you're creating food. It is going to vibrate in the food. It will nourish you and your family amazingly. Now, also keeping journal helps, but where I'm talking about keeping a positive journal. So journaling can be very helpful, but I would suggest that a positive journal. What I mean is just writing five to six positive things happened that day. So you do this journaling at night before you go to bed. And you remember five to six positive things or joyous things you did or childlike things you did and you really enjoyed these playful things. And write those down and continue doing this. It really helps us to bring a positive energy flow into our life. And it will also help your imagination to grow. It will also help your mind to function better, your brain function will start functioning better because there is less stress now. And there is also possibilities of more creativity will give your brain challenge. It will help the uh, improve the neurological grooves in our brain. So there are a lot of positive things happen when we start connecting with our inner child. So I really hope that this podcast will help you to connect with your inner child. I am also adding meditation, which is a singing bowl meditation with this podcast. Please click on that link. 
and that link will take you to the singing bowl meditation on YouTube. And I hope that that will help you to bring your creativity and peace in your life. Thank you for joining me today. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate that, that you're taking this time out of your day. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Bye for now. Bye for now.